Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to add skins to your scratch game, just like this, where you can go back and forth and select the skin you want to play with. Let's begin. So I just created a new project here, and now I'm going to name my sprite. So I'm just going to name my sprite Player. Now within this Player sprite, I'm going to have 4 to 5 different costumes. So I'm going to go into costumes and make 4 to 5 different ones. I'm just going to use some of Scratch's sprites ready. Now I have 5 different costumes for my main character to be. Next, I'm going to create 2 new sprites. One will go on the left side of the main sprite, and one will go on the right side of the main sprite. When you click on these sprites, you can go back and forward in between costumes for the main sprite. So what we're going to code is, when green flag click, show, go to front layer, then go to x negative 82, y4. Then we're going to go into the next sprite, Encode one green flag click, show, go to front layer, go to x77, y4. There we go, we got one on the left side, one on the right side, and the y's are the same, so they're level. Make sure you make the y values the same for both of these sprites. Now I'm going to go into the player sprite, encode one green flag click, show, go to front layer, Switch costume to the first one, and then we're going to set the position. So there we go. Now I'm going to make a variable. This variable will be called costume number. So I'm going to code it when green flag click, set costume number to 1. And I'm going to go into these left and right things and code when this sprite clicked. So because this one's pointing back, negative, broadcast, change, negative. And then because this one's going positive, when this right click, broadcast, change, positive. Now I'm going to go into my player sprite and code, when I receive change negative, then change costume number by minus 1. And then when I receive change positive, change costume number by 1. So the next thing I'm going to code is I'm going to go and get a forever block. Then I'm going to put it around this bit of code here, go into variables and get a costume number. Then I'm going to put it into the input of the switch costume 2 block. Now. When I click on the arrows, look at my costume switching. The next thing we have to code is in the slide left sprite for this arrow. So basically I'm actually going to get rid of these two blocks. I'm going to code when this sprite clicked, forever, if then else, if the costume number equals 1. Then I'm going to stop this script. If else, then broadcast, change negative, and then stop this script. What this does is when I click on the back arrow, it changes the costume by 1. But if the costume already is 1, it will not go into the negatives. Then, I'm just going to open my backpack and drag this code into my backpack. Then I'm going to head onto the right sprite, and I'm going to delete these two blocks as well. Drag in the code from my backpack, and make a few little edits. So instead of 1 here, it's going to say 5. Then I'm going to stop the script, and then where it says change negative, just change to positive. Now look at this. When I click on the arrow, my variable will not go above 5 and it will not go below 1. Now I'm going to show you how to confirm which character you want. So basically I'm going to code when this sprite clicked forever if costume number equals 1 then I'm going to switch costume to 1. So look at this. There it's just costume 1. Then, what I'm going to do is broadcast a message. This message will say, play game. 
and I'm gonna go into the other sprites. And I'm gonna code when I see play game hide. When I receive play game, hide. So now we have our game ready basically once we chose our sprite. Now I'm gonna like position our character so when I receive play game, then I'm gonna move our character. And I'm gonna put him. How about let's put him up here. So just gotta type in the positioning. There. So now look at this. When you click on a character, there we go. The game's ready. To do this for every sprite, you just duplicate it by right clicking and change the number there and the number here and do it for all five of your costumes. So look, now if we do costume two, if we pick costume two, there we go. But if we click on costume three because it's not coded yet, nothing happens. Well guys, I hope I helped you figure out how to add skins to your Scratch game. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!